Hello, my most amazing artists. We are going to start a new project today with this beautiful blending of white all the way down to navy blue. We're gonna be working with tints and shades today to create this underwater scene. Now, when you add white to a color, to a hue, it makes a tint of a hue. And when you add black, it gets darker and you make a shade is what it's called. Think about if you're standing outside underneath a tree, you're in the shade because it's a little bit darker. That's the way to remember it. So we're gonna do from all the way from white across the paper diagonally down to navy blue. This isn't as hard as it looks. I think you're going to like experimenting with this. So I'm gonna start with white in the corner and I'm actually going to paint white in the corner. So here's my paper. And I'm going to take my brush. We're going to be using a flat brush because it's going to have a real nice brush stroke. Let me clean my brush here. I just had used it for something else. All right, I'm going to take it. I'm going to dry it off in the paper towel, kind of squeeze it. And I am going to start with white on my brush. And I'm just going to do the top corner white like a triangle shape. I know you can't see that. You can see a little bit of a shine from it, though. Then I'm going to take my paint and I'm going to create a slightly blue tint. So I'm going to take my brush, see how much blue I put on it? Not very much. I'm going to put it over here and then I'm going to take white and I'm going to mix it together. Now when you're mixing a tint, you do need quite a bit of white. But remember, you're just making brush strokes back and forth so you don't need a glob of it. And every time I do this, I'm gonna add a tiny bit more blue to make it darker until finally I get down in the back corner and it's navy. All right, so that's like a super light blue. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna go very lightly, I'm moving my hand back and forth, not like this. Okay, I'm moving it back and forth because that's the way I want my brush strokes to go to do my next blue. And then I'm going to lightly brush it over some of that white to make it look like it's blending together. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit more blue and mix it in. Maybe a little bit too much blue there. Let me get some more white. So you want it to get very gradually darker. Gradually means little by little. Okay, so here's my next blue. I'm gonna very lightly bring it over the blue before it. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit more blue, make it a little bit darker. And do my next one and very lightly where they bump into each other, make a tiny bit overlapping. You see how I'm moving back and forth. I'm gonna take some more blue, make it darker. And then after this one here, this is the color I'm making right now. After this one, I'll probably go just regular blue. So the regular blue, the one, the true hue that we're using, not mixed with white or black, it's gonna be about in the middle of the paper, about. Because after we do the true hue, then it's gonna start getting darker. So I'm going back and forth. And I'm about in the middle of the paper, so that's where I want it to be. Slightly overlapping with the color before it. Oops. All right, now I'm just gonna use the true hue. Notice I'm not washing my brush. I don't need to. I'm just adding color to it every time. All right, the true hue, which is the color without white or black mixed in. So I'm not making a tint, I'm not making a shade. Some more blue. I love this color. All right. Then I'm going to make a shade. Now with the shade, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna kind of wipe off my brush on the side over here. And I'm gonna take some black and take some blue. When you make a shade of a color, you need very little black. A little bit goes a long way. So I'm just going to 
dab my brush into it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's so little. There's not much on there. And I'm going to mix it with the blue. It will get dark super fast, so be careful. If it's too dark, you're like, oh, it's way too dark. Get some more blue and add it in. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm, I think I'm gonna keep it. All right, and then I'm going to add the next shade. So I have a couple tints. I have the true hue and I have a shade. Let me grab a little bit more. And then for my last bit down here, I'm gonna grab a tiny bit more black and mix that in to make it real a dark navy blue. And I'll be done. So it's a little bit darker. I'm gonna overlap my colors a little bit. My brush is always moving in the same direction diagonally. There we go. So there's my paper from light to dark. You guys are gonna be able to do this and it's gonna look awesome. A little bit at a time and if you mess up, try again. It's gonna be okay. Here we go. You guys are really gonna enjoy this.